Good evening, Scorpio. <clears throat> I'm going to do a reading for you now. Uh, it's Scorpio season. Uh, so we've got birthdays for Scorpio right up to November the 22nd. So happy birthday. Happy birthday, Scorpio. If you've already had yours, I hope it was great. If you haven't, uh, have fun, <laughs> but not too much. Um, okay, so uh, just to... Getting through a little bit of the astrology, um, Scorpio is the eighth sign of the zodiac. It is a fixed sign, so it's fixed water. Um, sorry, but I'm getting a little bit of an orb. I don't know what's going on here. We've got some weird spirits here tonight. <laughs> anyway, um, Scorpio is ruled by two planets, Mars, as we know. Um, as is Aries, uh, Mars is known as the god of war, um, and also Pluto, which some scientists now don't even consider to be a planet. Um, Pluto takes about 248 years to get around the sun once. Uh, so, um, but one really interesting thing, it has five moons, okay? Um, and one of these moons, which I believe is called Sharon, um, it just, it's, it goes around Pluto face to face. Okay. Like, kind of like your, your, uh, uh kind of like two people who were about to go to, into a fight. Um, so they have their, uh, they share their gravitational pull. I thought that was something interesting. Um, and as we all know, Mars has two moons, and one of them is on a collision course, okay, to Mars. I don't care what the scientists say. I've been reading up on this. Um, the name of the moon is Phobos, I think. And um, it is the, it orbits Mars um, about three times a day, okay? It is the closest moon that we know of in our solar system. Uh, to its own planet, and it is getting closer every year, and it's going to collide with Mars. Uh, Mars is right next to us, as you know, and um, we all, we've already found pieces of Mars on Earth, so the universe is changing a lot. Things change in the universe. Our own moon, Earth just has one moon, but our own moon causes all the tides, okay? Um, it also is slowing down um, uh, the spin on our axis. So those are two scientific facts. If you don't believe um, in uh, astrology, uh, you really should because it's scientific. There's going to be a little break in the tape, and then we're going to start Scorpio. Okay, and Scorpio, I almost forgot. Okay, um, here's some good news. Okay, the sun is in your sign, okay? Um, it could mean... Some extreme emotions come out. Sun is going to be in Scorpio until uh, November the 22nd, I think. Yeah, at the end of your season. Um, Mars, one of your ruling planets, is in Libra. So you may be sort of demanding justice or the truth or fairness on something. And Pluto is in Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn, you know, are the hard workers, um, the really conservative people. So you might start saving your money. Um, anyway, I'm going to move on to your reading. Oops. Yikes. Ah! Okay. Um, so I'm using three decks. I'm going to do a, uh, a, just a story, okay? I don't feel like doing a Celtic cross tonight. And, um, I'm just going to let these cards come out as they will for Scorpio. So Scorpio is our fixed water. Tell us what's going on for Scorpio, please. Okay, that's important. It's important. Wow, your cards are coming out tonight. Tell us about what's going on with Scorpio. Thank you very much. So this is just going to be a story um, from beginning to end. And then at the end, what we'll do if you like. Okay, just, sorry. Tell us what's going on with Scorpio, please. That's what's going on with Scorpio, please. Okay, so we're going to switch decks. At the end, if you like, we'll do what your, how your person feels about you. Tell us what's going on with their fixed water signs. Thank you, please. Tell us what's going on with their fixed water signs, please. 
tell us what's going on with our fixed water signs. We're going to switch decks. Tell us what's going on with Scorpio, please. Tell us what's going on. Thank you very much. Okay, I feel like we're ready to start another row, and that one wants to start. All right, so uh, cards are telling me we're moving into the future now. Uh, let's move into the future for Scorpio, please. Whoa, thank you. I don't know what that is, but that just flew right out. Tell us what's in the future for Scorpio, please. Future for Scorpio, please. I will time code, by the way, when the uh, interpretation starts. Future for Scorpio, please. I feel like that's significant. Breaking the tape in a minute. Picture for Scorpio, please. Okay. Picture for Scorpio, please. Q. Picture for Scorpio, please. Picture for Scorpio, please. Okay. Two want to speak there. No. Nope. Three want to speak. Okay. That one wants to stay reversed. Fine. Okay, how does Scorpio's person, the person that Scorpio cares about the most, how do they feel about Scorpio, please? How do they feel about Scorpio, please? How do they feel about Scorpio? Way a lot. We can't take that, though. There's too many. Come on now. Do I have to split the deck? How does, thank you. They want to take you on a trip. Whoa, okay, I'm going to stop right there. You're going to like this. All right, Scorpio. So I'm just, um, we're going to start the interpretation now. Are you ready? Okay. So this, I think, would be what's going on with you right now. Ah, okay, so you're in four of swords mode, so you could be resting. Okay, you could be meditating. You could be at a retreat. You could just be thinking contemplating about something you could have a small hospital visit it's not very serious though but it looks to me like you're unhappy about something and you are reflecting and figuring out what to do next your heart has been broken someone has betrayed you um you want some movement on this you want victory but you're gonna guard your heart while you're doing it i'm looking at the chariot um, you want to control, yeah, this is, this is Scorpio, you like to control things, you want to control, uh, the dark forces, the good forces, you want to control the female forces, the male forces, you don't want to use reins, you want to have mastery over this situation, and you want it to get going now, and you will, because the magician just came up, the magician yeah, so you know what you're going to do? You're going to use your magic. You're going to meditate. You're going to have a little more faith in the spiritual side of things and stop making fun of Aries when Aries does reading, Scorpio. I'm just saying that because I have a friend who's a Scorpio and she's always making fun of me. Okay. You feel trapped. Why are you feeling trapped? Ah, you've suffered a loss. Okay, we're getting into the future now, all right? Again, uh, the Four of Swords is right below the Four of Swords. So, um, you're back in that mode right now. Um, or you Scorpio, what am I always telling you? Meditate more. Slow down. Stop talking. <laughs> um, because this heartbreak... Um, could possibly have been caused by you trying to force something uh, and having mastery over the situation. You ended up um, uh, feeling trapped and suffering a loss. Now you're back in Four of Swords mode. Now we're going into the future now. Let's see. Okay, now you're celebrating. Now things are going well. Okay. Oh, wow. Now you've got lots of options. We're going into the future now. So you've smartened up. You've ended something. You've ended thinking that you are the be-all and the end-all. Good girl or good man. Oh, this is nice. Remember I told you when there was one that was reversed? It's the tower. It's reversed, which is great. Scorpio, you know, you and Aries are the only two astrological signs that share the tower. 
Um, and this is interesting because one of your uh, one of your planets, um, Pluto, is considered. I'm just going to read you a quote: "The great uh, renewer, that part of the individual which demolishes for the purpose of rebuilding." And that's what the tower does. But you're going to stop doing that because the tower was reversed. So you're going to stop tearing the hell everything down. Um, it, yeah, you're still feeling a little bit trapped. You're going to get involved with uh, a man, an Aries man. This is good. Then you're going to have a major decision to make, Scorpio. Oh boy, are you not going to like to make that decision. Because there's something that you don't know and you like to know all the facts before you make a decision. I'm looking at the Two of Swords. You don't want to use your emotion at all. You don't want to drop one of those swords. You're almost thinking about going away. Now, uh, your lover may want to take you away. Um, you're going to meet someone that wants to make things so much better for you. Now, let me show you the outcome. You're going to love this. Score. Ten of cups. I don't know what could be better. Wow, that was so Scorpio. <laughs> I don't see any of your cards here, which is good. Except for the tower, which was reversed, which is great. It's fantastic. I didn't see judgment, didn't see death. Uh, I didn't see the Knight of Cups. This is fantastic. Okay, happy birthday, Scorpio. And don't forget the sun is in your sign. Bye.